Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add your business to Bing. But before we start, hurry up and check out these software just under this video. Let's get started. So if you have any businesses here on Google and you want to also be included here in Bing, because we all know that Bing is, is the second uh, most used search engine out there uh, be, uh, behind Google. So in this case, how do you exactly do it? So first things first is you want to access a very specific page here for Bing, which in this case, if you type in Bing places here, you have Bing places for businesses. So if you click on it, this is what you'll be seeing. Now, in this case, you need to create an account. So if you're an existing user here, obviously you could go and click on existing user, update and rich your business. But if you're a new one, you could go and click on new user. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to provide the nearest our details. So in this case, you could choose one or one of this. Like for example, if you are new or your business is quite new here, don't have a business profile, you could go ahead and just click on claim or add your business manual here. So if you click that, it will basically allow you to search your business, fill out some details, and basically provide some details about your business. But if your profile or is already set up, like for example, already in Google business profile, you can just import that into your Bing Places account here. Let's go and click on import from Google business profile now. Now from here, it's going to say import your Google business profile account. So in this case, you can go and click on, I want to sync my business data with Google business profile at regular intervals here. So either weekly, bi-weekly or monthly, you could go and click on continue to Google business profile. Now from here, it's going to ask you to log in into your Google account. Let's go and choose our account here. And in here, we want to go and just click on continue. And from here, it's going to ask uh, some details. So in this case, uh, bangplaces.com uh, uh, wants to access the following information. You can go and just uh, enable them. Click on see, edit, create, delete your Google's business, all these things here. Click on continue. Now, once you've done that, it should create your account. As you can see, our account is in here. Let's go and click on continue. And from here, save import uh, data by creating a Bing Places for Business account. So you could either create a uh, use your Microsoft account or use your existing Google account here or your work account. Let's go and choose Google account since we want to uh, easily keep this in one account. Let's go use our Google account here. And from here, let's just wait for it. Now, from here, we just need to fill up some uh, information, like for example, our profile. Let's go and provide all the SR detail information here. So in this case, once you've created your account, this is what you'll be seeing right now. So let's go and click on import from Google business profile now. So just in case it doesn't work the first time, you may need to do it uh, uh, again, but this, it's quite easy. You just click on the buttons that we pressed before. Just free log in here, confirm a few things. And as you can see, our account has been imported. So in this case, yeah, business successfully imported here and business can be imp uh, imported after fixing issues. So in this case, some uh, businesses may not be imported successfully here. So in this case, for example, this one is missing address here. So make sure to provide all the necessary details first uh, when you're, or you've completed your business first when you're uh, doing the import. But let's go, go ahead and click on go to dashboard here. And as you can see right now, our business has been added in here. So you can basically change a few things here. Like for example, website, phone, you can also manage that in here. You can also update your working hours and a lot more. You can also add another business here if you want. You can sync your business uh, profile as well. And also in order for you to be uh, seen into the platform itself, you need to verify yourself or your account here. Let's go and click on verify now. Now from here, you may need to provide some information here. So in this case, for example, in this case, they will be sending a ver uh, verification pin at the address below and you should receive the pin up in around like five to six business days, which in this case, you need to provide a pin into your account here in order for you to verify your business. Now, in this case, some people may have the option to provide yourselves via phone. So in this case, if you do have that option, you can go and just provide that. But obviously, you need to basically uh, provide a phone first in order for you to do that. But uh, yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.